everyone today i'm here to talk about opioids we'll be discussing opioids under classification receptors mechanism of action agonist antagonist and our favorite opioid use disorders so i'm dr deepika i'm a pg in anesthesia we'll start with classification opioids can be classified under natural semi synthetic and synthetic and a natural i'll give a small mnemonic here called mct medium chain triglycerides i know i'm not helping much with the mnemonic here m for morphine c for codeine t for thymine i'd like to add a line about morphine here that is m3g morphine 3 glucuronide morphine 6 glucuronide m3g will cause seizures m6g causes our analgesia so coming to semi synthetic it is morphinol dihydromorphin heroin and thebane derivative thebane derivatives are etorphinol and buprenorphine then is synthetic again morphinol derivatives that is liborphinol and butorphinol liborphinol is the long long acting opioid and come into benzomorphine that is pentazosin pentazosin acts like pancuronium that is increased sympathetic activity it is used in the treatment of pruritus and it is it increases the post operative nausea vomiting next is phenylpepiridin that is meperidin fentanyl sufentanyl alfentanyl and remifentanyl meperidin has an action on alpha 2 agonist so it increases heart rate and fentanyl we all know about it so fentanyl decreases airway reflexes alfentanyl causes udenchers syndrome remifentanyl is metabolized by rbc esterases next is diphenyl propylamine that is methadone methadone is the longest acting opioid that is known coming to receptors mu kappa and delta so all the receptors will contribute to analgesia while mu has an action of constriction of pupils constipation and convulsions these three effects will never develop tolerance and kappa has psychomimetic side effects then the endogenous opioids acting at these receptors are mu has a endorphin kappa has enkephalin delta has dynorphin so coming to mechanism of action opioids act through g protein coupled seven transmembrane receptors which activates potassium rectifying channels and mapk cascades inhibits calcium channels and adenylyl cyclase this adenylyl cyclase is also responsible for tolerance coming to agonist antagonist buprenorphine butorphinol nalmefen and pentazosin these are partial agonist antagonists buprenorphine is a partial agonist at mu and antagonist at kappa delta others are vice versa so pure antagonists are naltroxone naloxone methyl naltroxone and naloxone so the last one is opioid use disorders when a patient has just quit opioids then he will have withdrawal symptoms that is increase sympathetic activities there we will use either alpha 2 agonist or beta blocker then for rapid detoxification we will use a pure antagonist that is naloxone for a long term opioid uh, prof- uh, relapse prophylaxis we use naltroxone while for maintenance therapy we use the longest opioid available that is methadone so that is all about opioids let me know how you like the video thank you